Hello there and welcome to today's tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to make a cute little burger pin with polymer clay so let's go get started. So I want to make a little star shape for my burger pin so I just need to choose which one to go for really and I think the medium of uh, these three will be about the right size. And I've got some Sculpey Souffle clay here in a really nice blue colour for the backgrounds. So I'll start with the burger bun. So I've got some beige souffle clay here. I'll just roll that into like a flat ball shape really. And I'll cut right through the centre with my cutting tool here. And I have a list of the tools that I use down below in description. And in terms of filling, I'll start by making some kind of salad or lettuce leaves. And I'll just pop that onto the burger bun. And I'm going to use four of these, all at essentially a right angle to each other. But you can use as many as you want. And I've got some dark brown clay here for the actual burger patty itself. So I just want to flatten that well, essentially into a burger shape really. And to make it look a little more convincing as a burger, I'm just going to keep tapping away with my medium sized ball tool here. So that's looking a lot more like a burger now, so I'll just add that to the bun. Now for some cheese, and I've got some really thin yellow clay here, nice and bright. And once I've shaped it into a square, I'll just add that to the burger and I want to ensure that the corners are sort of coming down like so. And a good dollop of ketchup. So I'm just trying to fashion this red clay into, well, essentially a dollop shape really. And once I'm happy with that, I can add that to the burger. So there we go, I'm pretty happy with that, certainly looks like a little burger in the making. And I think the top is actually a little too large, so I'm just going to go in with my cutting tool again and just take some off and just shape that a little with my fingers and just then pop it on. Now for some sesame seeds, so I've got some really light kind of cream coloured clay here so I'll just keep adding those just teeny tiny pieces and there we go my miniature burgers all done and you could always stop here if you wanted to if you just wanted to make a burger prop or maybe a charm but I'm going to make mine into a pin so I'm going to cut right down the centre feels a bit brave doing this somehow and in case you want to see that again from a different angle, here you go. Just something kind of satisfying about it, I think. So I've got two little half burgers now, so I'm going to pop the first onto my blue star. And I just need to ensure that that's pressed firmly into the, the blue clay so it doesn't, you know, fall apart really. So just going to press down uh, just with my ball tool here into the burger and I think it needs a little more detail so I'm just going to add some gesture marks in with some yellow clay here just to make it kind of pop a little more I think and there we go my star shape pin is all done and with my second little burger, I've just added that onto a heart shape and I've created some stars with my little fondant cutter here. So now I'm ready to bake. And at this point, you'll need to refer to your own brand of polymer clays, bacon instructions. So my pins are all baked and cooled and I thought it might be nice just to add a little bit of glaze just to the ketchup just so it glistens a little really. And now I need to add my pin attachments. So I'm using some epoxy glue. So I'll just pop those onto some old wet wipes for 24 hours. And here they are all done. 
and I'm pretty happy with these. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like if you got this far and I'll see you again soon.